erythroblastosis fatalis. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ahmed Raza and this is the continuation of the blood banking series. Today, I'll be talking about HDN or HDFN. Hemolytic disease of newborn or hemolytic disease of fetus and newborn. It's also known as erythroblastosis, erythroblastosis fatalis. Do you know that among 100,000 of the deliveries, 3 to 8 cases of deliveries are affected by hemolytic disease of newborn? So what is actually HDN? Let's have a look at that. When there is incompatibility between the blood types of mother and baby, if you look at the pathophysiology, HDN is most frequently occurred when an RH negative mother has a baby with RH positive father. When the baby's RH factor is positive, like fathers, problems can develop if the baby's red blood cell cross the placenta of mother. This usually happens at delivery when the placenta detaches. However, it may also happen any time blood cell of two circulation mixes. The mother immune system detects the baby's RH positive blood as follows. The immune system responds by developing antibodies to fight and destroy these foreign cells. The mother's immune system then keeps the antibodies in case the foreign cell appears again, even in a future pregnancy. So what actually happens that the hemolytic disease of the fetus and newborn is the destruction of RBCs of fetus and the neonat by antibodies produced by mothers. The HDN caused by destruction of RBCs of a fetus by antibody that are produced by mother. Only antibodies of the IgG class are actively transported across the placenta. Most IgG antibodies are directed against bacterial, fungal and viral antigens. So the transfer of IgG from the mother to the fetus is beneficial. However, in HDN, the antibodies are directed against those antigens on the fetal RBCs that were inherited from the father. In HDN that is caused by the RHD antigen, the RH positive firstborn infant of an RH negative mother usually is unaffected. The first pregnancy is not affected. It causes sensitization of mother. You, the mother become immunized. During the gestation and particularly at delivery, when the placenta separates from the uterus, variable number of fetal RBCs enter the maternal circulation. When D antigen is inherited from the father, these fetal cells immunize the mother and stimulate the production of NTD. Once the mother is immunized to D antigen, all subsequent offspring who inherit the D antigen will be affected. The maternal NTD crosses the placenta and binds to the fetal RH positive cell. The sensitized RBCs are destroyed, hemolyzed by the fetal monocyte 
macrophage system resulting in anemia. Mainly, the HDN is caused by the D antigen. But it could also happen by ABO or the Kalberg growth systems. We will make a separate video on this topic. Well, in the first pregnancy, RS sensitization is not likely. Usually, it only becomes a problem in future pregnancies with an other RH positive baby. During that pregnancy, the mother's antibody crosses the placenta to fight the RH positive cells in the baby's body. As the antibody destroys the red blood cells, the baby can become sick. This is called erythroblast process fetalis. In the newborn, the condition is called HDN. So what are the common clinical findings? Anemia. Jaundice. Reticulocytosis and most significant cornectaris. Cornectaris is the most severe form of hyperbilirubinemia and result from the buildup of bilirubin in brain. This can cause seizures, brain damage, deafness, and even death. So what are the prevention? The raw game is given to a mother after 24 hours of delivery. The anti-D immunoglobin is able to destroy the RSD-positive fetal cells before they reach the site of antibody production. Okay. Next step is the diagnosis, which is very important in the prevention of the disease. The blood test on baby. These are the tests that are done on baby. Number one is the biochem is the biochemistry test. It's basically done to check the jaundice. It consists of total bilirubin, total serum bilirubin, indirect serum bilirubin, and the direct serum bilirubin. Number two which is done is the peripheral blood film. which shows erythroblast. Number three is retics count. Which shows an increase. Number four is the direct wound test.
So the tasks that are done on mother. On mother. And mother indirect groups test. is done to detect the treatment phototherapy to lower excessive bill rubbing number one is phototherapy phototherapy the second is exchange transfusion to lower dangerous bilirubin, treat anemia, and remove sensitized red blood cells from the circulation. Exchange transfusion. If we look at the complications of HDN, it is chronic teres, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, hemolytic anemia, damage to liver due to excessive bilirubin, and greenish staining of the teeth. Well, that's the lecture for the HDN. The best method of the prevention of HDN is by pre-marriage counseling, pre-marriage diagnosis of the blood, maternal and paternal blood growth to prevent the HDN to occur. Well, that's the lecture today. See you tomorrow.